Check this out. This patient was referred to me for endodontic treatment of tooth number 30. He was a wrestler. He's 18 years old now. And he said when he was younger, he used to wrestle. And I'm guessing trauma caused this. All right. You can see periperitoneal here and here. He said uh, he had a swelling on his gum and it popped on its own a few days ago. And I could see the remnant of it. But uh, you can see the peripheral lucency here and here, and look at, look at all of that root resorption on the distal as well. So I immediately, when I look at a tooth like this, I can envision what it will look like after I'm done with it. And in this case, I can see MTA, MTA, MTA here, here of course. After all of the all of the cleaning, shaping, irrigation with a full strength sodium hypochloride and activation, all that stuff, but I can already see the end result in my head. Okay, now look at this tooth here. You can see decay into the pulp and periperical lucency. There was also there was also buccal swelling. As you can see, that's a pretty decent size swelling. That's the tooth. Okay, even with this tooth, I'm envisioning possibility of having to having to use having to use MTA. Okay, now look at this tooth here. Another example of Dr. Lin. Take a look here. According to the patient, this root canal was done 13 years ago. And take a look. Look how short the fills are. No issues, no problems, no peripheral lucencies, nothing. Dr. Lin. Okay. I don't know how many examples I've given you. A, a thousand maybe? Over the past many years, there it is. This patient was referred to me for endodontic retreatment of tooth number 14. According to the patient, this root canal was done five to six years ago. You can see peripheral lucency right there, crown, and previous root canal, of course. Peripheral lucency. This is why it's important to take multiple angulation PAs. Take a look here. That's another angulation. Okay, look at this angulation. This angulation, you not only see the 90 degree curvature of the canal here, a peripheral lucency, you also very likely are looking at a missed MB2. So take multiple angulation PAs, it gives you a better understanding of the anatomy of the tooth. 90 degrees curvature of the canal, short fill, he left necrotic tissue bacteria behind, missed MB2, of course you can see the peripheral lucency. There you go.